Why do female animals often choose specific mates with spectacular features or extraordinary behaviors? It's a question that fascinated Charles Darwin and continues to puzzle scientists today. Welcome to our focus into the intriguing world of female mate choice. Mate choice occurs when females prefer certain males based on specific traits. Like vibrant feathers, loud calls, or impressive displays. But why do these preferences evolve? Let's break down the key theories that explain why females are selective. First, the answer is direct benefits. This theory suggests females choose mates who offer tangible advantages like food, protection, or help with offspring care. For example, male bush crickets provide nutritious gifts that females consume during mating that boosts their survival and fertility. In this context, mantis males are the most renunciant as they offer their head as food source. Male dubbed beetles offer protection by guarding females. And male seahorse fish care for the eggs, greatly increasing offspring survival. Next, indirect benefits. Here, females receive genetic advantages for their offspring rather than immediate rewards. Within indirect benefits, there are two main models. The Fisherian model proposes a feedback loop where female preferences and male traits co-evolve, intensifying each other. A classic example the peacock's extravagant tail. Females choosing ornate males ensure their offspring inherit both attractiveness and the preference for attractiveness, creating a self-reinforcing cycle. On the other hand, the good genes model argues that females choose males with traits indicating health and vitality, passing superior genes to offspring. Brightly colored birds often reflect resistance to diseases and parasites, ensuring healthier chicks. Ambush bugs choose mates with robust body structures. While bank voles select partners with strong immune systems, benefiting offspring longevity and fitness. But there's more. The sensory exploitation theory suggests male traits evolve because they exploit pre-existing female sensory biases. Imagine a male bird evolving bright red feathers because females are naturally attracted to red fruits. Another example includes anolis lizards, where males adopt movements similar to prey items to catch female attention more effectively. Lastly, genetic compatibility. Females may choose mates based on genetic differences, ensuring offspring inherit diverse, complementary genes. Old field mice, for instance, prefer mates with significantly different immune genes, boosting offspring immunity and survival. Similarly, in humans, preferences for distinct genetic markers often influence attraction. A classical example to that is the sweaty t-shirt experiment. Professor Claus Wedekind in the 1990s aimed to test whether humans choose potential mates based on genetic compatibility through olfactory cues, particularly related to immune system genes. Male participants wore cotton t-shirts for two consecutive nights. They were instructed to avoid factors that could influence body odor such as smoking, using deodorants, eating spicy food, and involving sexual activity. Female participants then smelled these t-shirts, unaware of the men's identities, and ranked them by odor attractiveness. Results showed that females tended to prefer odors from men whose immune genes were more dissimilar to their own. This dissimilarity potentially provides offspring with more robust immune systems due to greater genetic diversity in immune alleles. Humans often unconsciously select mates based on cues indicating health, fertility, and compatibility. For instance, studies show humans prefer symmetrical facial features, a sign of good health and genetic fitness. Moreover, humans exhibit mate choice influenced by cultural factors like social status, resources, and even humor, 
which might indicate intelligence and creativity traits beneficial for survival and parenting. Scientists are still exploring how these processes interact and influence mating systems across species. Female mate choice isn't just a matter of preference it's a powerful evolutionary force shaping the biodiversity. Understanding this phenomenon helps understanding the fascinating complexities of life on Earth. If you enjoyed exploring the science of mate choice, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more insightful content. Keep wondering, keep learning, and I'll see you next time.